We always wanted to follow some technology company and follow their trends and we always wanted to do whatever they wanted to do right or whatever they are doing. In this particular video we are going to see what is Netflix doing with something called Netflix OSS. Let's get started. Netflix OSS is nothing but open source software contributed by the Netflix team onto the open source community. So as you guys know, Netflix is a website where they have lots of web series which are premier and you have to have a Netflix account to watch the Netflix web series and most of the web series are all like famous and you might know uh, most of the web series are made into the television series as well. So Netflix is one of the biggest um, technology company which is out there in the world. So what Netflix has done recently is they have recently outsourced most of their technology tools which they use internally in their company. So we are going to see what are the different tools which are there in the uh, Netflix OSS. So Netflix OSS stands for open source software. So Netflix has started contributing to the open source community quite a while ago. So Netflix OSS is a set of software provided by Netflix the way they de design software, the way they deploy microservices. They have open source lots of softwares which they have designed and uh, Spring has already come up with different frameworks using those softwares. You would have already seen me making videos on Spring, Spring Cloud, uh, Zool, Histrix, Eureka and stuff like that. We are going to see what are the other tools which Netflix OSS provides as well and in this series I'm going to make different videos on what is Eureka, what is Zool, what is um, uh, his tricks separately so that you know what uh, these individually mean as a concept and what they can literally do with the implementation right when you design some microservices or when you design applications on the cloud so even if it is not for the cloud so how do we handle failures and stuff like that so that is what we are going to see in this particular series but this particular video we are going to see what are the different softwares and you will see me uh, making new videos on Eureka, his tricks and other stuff which are out there right so if you notice this particular website netflix.github.com it is going to explain you the different categories with which netflix has created their tools uh, based on so you can see the different um, uh, tool links from there for example for big data they have different tools like genie um, inviso lipstick uh, stuff like that so they have a fancy naming concept so if you notice netflix they all their tools tools have a naming concept and it is all funny and then it's it's quite interesting as well uh, but the major part is the functionality which Netflix provides um, I feel Netflix is doing the um, heavy lifting of doing all these technologies and then open sourcing it and people are just writing a wrapper around right? for example Spring is just writing a wrapper around Netflix implementation and then we are uh, using them uh, very easily so if you had seen uh, my video on Histrix or Zool or Eureka we just uh, did very a little work to integrate that but um, I'm going to tell you like what um, they really mean right so in the in the series so the first part is the big data so for big data they have this uh, set so uh, whatever big data implementation which Netflix has in their um, company so they have open sourced most of it so these are the different tools which they have uh, they use spark they use Hadoop um, and all these latest things and they have uh, outsourced these uh, uh, tools like Genie and uh, Invisio uh, for us to use so you can use it and you can deploy it in your environment and try it out right so I'm not going to go in depth on each and every tool but I'll just give you a high level overview of what is there for each category so that you can um, uh, remember those names and if somebody is quoting those names you can uh, identify that okay you, you heard it somewhere right the next one is the build and delivery tool there is a famous tool called nebula which uh, Netflix has created so that is a uh, nothing but a Gradle plugin so you can use that Gradle plugin to automate your um, um, build and delivery right so that is one uh, the major part uh, which uh, I have used um, from Netflix is the common runtime services uh, which is nothing but the discovery service or the load balancing or the circuit breakers like Histrix or even the API gateway like Zool API proxy like Zool etc 
right so we'll be seeing those uh, in the coming videos but yeah just understand that those are just the common runtime libraries or the services which you can use in day-to-day -day life so like eureka is similar to zookeeper uh, which does the service discovery uh, Histrix does the uh, circuit breaker we'll see what are circuit breakers and what are the circuit breaker patterns and why do we need them in the microservices environment um, then we have Zool, which is nothing but the uh, proxy which can be used for uh, proxying your API gateway so you can you can create it like an API gateway and then proxy the request to the different um, servers right. the other part is the content encoding so they have some tools uh, written there called photon uh, data persistence layer so you can use lots of um, uh, tools like dynamite and then dino used by Netflix for persisting data onto the cloud right so you can use that I haven't used them personally but um, I have heard people using it so it, it, it goes well with the NoSQL databases like Cassandra and stuff like that right uh, the next big thing is the reliability and the performance so if you have heard about Netflix reliability and the performance management it is uh, quite mind-blowing they have very good tools for testing their uh, environment end-to-end -end. Uh, for example they, they have a simian army so simian army is nothing but a set of a bunch of tools which they use for testing their environment so one such tool is the chaos monkey or the chaos kong which they have so they can knock out a set of servers uh, in a particular region or in a particular um, location and then you can test the environment so these softwares literally knocks out uh, stuff or the servers they just plug out the connections or they just crash these servers randomly so that our softwares are getting tested so netflix has some um, um, very good uh, performance and reliability testing softwares uh, so Simeon Army is the one which they have internally they have so many tools so Chaos Monkey is one among them Chaos Monkey, Chaos Kong and more others are there so we will see a video on that as well right. the next thing is the security so in the security space they have again security monkey so I don't know why they name um, uh, softwares in the name of monkeys and uh, King Kongs or something like that but um, uh, they have uh, a, a peculiar uh, way of uh, defining the names right so the final part is the user interface uh, with respect to the user interface they do have some of the uh, implementations for RS, rxjs and stuff like that so I, i'm not sure uh, how that will be helpful for us but there are lots of libraries which netflix has built uh, which we can reuse for uh, building some libraries right using those libraries we can build our ui out of the box so you don't have to do lots of uh, heavy lifting so netflix has done that as well so whatever they have used it in their ui implementation so it's all there in um, rxjs which they have implemented right so these are the different um, um, open source stuff which netflix provides so we are going to see each one one by one okay so just to give a high level uh, idea i wanted to show you guys what is netflix oss so netflix OSS is nothing but the open source software um, which Netflix provides these are bunch of softwares which Netflix has open sourced so you can contribute to it as well and then you can use it as well so that is what Netflix OSS provides uh, in the subsequent videos we are going to see what are the different uh, Netflix uh, OSS softwares which are very popular and we are going to pick the popular ones and we are going to see what they do theoretically and then if, if possible I can uh, do a hands-on on the same right Let's see, that, that is what I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hope you guys uh, uh, like it. If you want me to uh, make video on any specific Netflix OSS library, do let me know in the comment section below. I can uh, take a look and then I can uh, do a video on that. So, hope you like the video. If you like it, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.